As previously stated, all my media products use, develop and challenge forms and conventions of the alternative electronic music genre. This part of question one will focus on how my ancillary products did this and engaged the audience throughout. I will mostly outline here how my final digipack and magazine advert designs looked at the end of my development of them and how I have creatively chosen to follow or challenge conventions of existing media products. As I did with my music video, it was important for me to outline the key conventions of these products in order to generate successful texts for consumerism of the audience and what appeals to them. This includes that of conventional magazine adverts and six panel special edition digipacks. First of all, using my music video as a springboard for my colour scheme, I decided to use a red, white and black theme throughout both products, creating synergy but also supplying a dramatic contrast in colours to add drama. As a convention, existing ancillary products in my genre typically use one main colour palette that is prominent throughout. In this case, I consciously chose these colours to coincide with my music video as a convention and my audience picked up on this feature that engaged and pleased them. When looking at institutional information to place on my ancillary products, it was important in terms of relevance and aesthetic to look at record labels, texts and logos that suited my genre. For this, I chose two main companies to represent my band and found logos of them online to create a professional image on the products as a result of looking into conventions. The text used on my extra panel in my digipack, I studied from an existing Alt-J album and took relevant information to suit my own products, such as recorded at Decca Records Limited, conventionally coinciding with the institutions I chose as well as real names of my band members using their permission for this. Also, when conveying my artist in their name and album name, I had to adhere to conventions of bands and artists in the alternative electronic genre, as well as creating a unique and catchy name, Shift, with the album name that suited mysterious connotations and the mood and atmosphere the ancillary products gave visually insult to injury, implying to worsen a situation. These aspects fitted together on my digipack and magazine advert in an aesthetically pleasing way as I conventionally placed them in line with one another, having the album name smaller than the artists for a powerful impact that I intended to create for my audience. I challenged conventions in my own way by using images of my band in my digipack and not to my magazine advert. I felt that using the simple logo of the diamond shape, which is conventional in my genre to create a geometric style logo, gave a powerful impact to catch eyes in an advert and the digipack's sole purpose is for the audience to feel closer to the artist on a more personal level, therefore I used the three images of the artist. Instead of having an image for each band member, I wanted to create an image of the lead singer looking towards the CD, essentially the music, for a moody atmosphere and focus on the prominence of the music. Both products are conventionally minimalistic, which is effective in having emphasis on simple elements such as the release date on my magazine advert and the logos on my CD. Something I'm really proud of when being creative in my digipack is the idea I had for the front cover. The text design is something I have seen before on other aspects of media and not specifically in music promotion. Due to my paint on water pattern being prominent and consistent as well as a conventionally artistic feature for this genre, I decided to incorporate it into the text which works so effectively and is an aspect of my own designing. In terms of fonts, conventionally an alternative electronic genre displays one or two sans serif fonts that are futuristic and simple in design. I have successfully used this across my ancillary products in moderation and used the main font titles in the same places and the second font for lesser information as explained in my research. Overall, I feel my ancillary products have successfully adhered to conventions that I outlined for my individual research into conventional examples for my genre. My creativity was able to be portrayed through this in my promotional campaign minimally in ways I have addressed in this question whilst adapting conventions and showing them in order to appeal to my target audience for them to enjoy.